Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary and Dev channels of the Windows Insider program, which is the build 26090 for version 24H2. As I've said, this build is released to both the Canary and Dev channels. This is not something that's going to happen for much longer, so if you want to switch between the Canary and Dev channels, make sure to go into Windows Update, go and enter into Windows Insider program, and then make sure you select the Insider settings. You can select the Dev or the Canary channel depending on whether you want to be on a channel or not. Also you may note that some features may begin rolling out to the Canary channel first before the dev channel even if the two channels have the same build. So in this video we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary and dev channels. So if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all in this build we have some widgets board improvements Basically, some changes that started rolling out previously are now rolling out again. So these improvements include a new navigation bar on the left, which I don't have at the moment, and other integrated dashboards like Discover. And uh, you're also going to have a screenshot to see how that is looking whenever you have all the new changes related to widgets enabled. Also related to SMB or server message block, there are a few changes. We're going to have those listed in the article below and also on the official Microsoft blog. I'm not going to go in depth with them because I think a lot of you are not interested in those. Also, one thing you may have noticed is that we don't have a watermark. So in the Canary and Dev channels, we usually have a watermark which states the version. While the build watermark at the lower right hand corner of the desktop is not present in this build and will return in future Insider preview builds, this is a part of Microsoft's normal process of preparing Windows 11 24 H2 for release to customers later this year, but it doesn't mean that they are done. So I think it's pretty interesting that Microsoft is preparing Windows 11 24 H2 and you can check out the video that I did yesterday about the release to manufacturers. Basically, Basically, I think that's why they are referring to because the base platform of Windows 11 24 H2 will be released earlier to companies so that they can test Windows 11 24 H2 on their devices. Related to Windows Copilot, you can now ask Copilot in Windows in preview for help 10 times when you sign into Windows using a local account. After that, you must sign in using a Microsoft account. Also, the redesigned version of the Delivery Optimization Settings page under Settings, Windows Update, Advanced Options, and then Delivery Optimization has been reverted to the previous design that Microsoft tested in build 26085 so that was firstly introduced in build 25987 but they plan to reintroduce it after fixing some bugs we also have a few fixes in this build for example some general fixes fix an issue which was causing video stutters in some apps and possibly impacting FPS in some games in the previous flight related to the taskbar and system tray they fixed an explorer.exe crash that was impacting taskbar reliability related to file explorer they fixed an issue causing some insiders to see file explorer unexpectedly using the previous design and have no tabs in the latest builds. Related to Task Manager, fix an issue where Task Manager was holding onto process handles sometimes leading to processes not stopping when you closed apps if you'd had Task Manager opened. And finally, fixes related to windowing, they fixed an underlying issue which was causing the bottom half of secondary monitors to be unusable sometimes in recent builds, fix an explorer.exe crash which was happening for some insiders recently when dragging windows. If you want to check out all the known issues in this build, you can check out the article below in the video's description or the official Microsoft block. So basically, this is the build for today. It's not such an exciting build, but it's better than nothing. So I think this is still good. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Zoom from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.